It's our story. Eleanor Smith, Atlanta, Georgia. My parents took me down to Warm Springs from central Illinois when I was six years old. I had gotten polio when I was three. So when I was six, that would have been 1949. They, they wanted the best for me. They had four kids at home. One was a baby. Um, and they brought me down to Warm Springs. And I had surgery on my legs. Um, and mom had to go home soon after that. So uh, there I was, 800 miles from home as a six-year-old. Um, a lot of the other little kids were Southerners, and they immediately started calling me the red-headed Yankee. And it was not a compliment. But the more we hung out in our little ward of eight girls, um, the more we became friends. I have some really good memories of playing with them. I'm very creative. Kids will play. Uh, there were eight beds, and one of my favorite memories is we would hold um, dress-up contests, costume contests, and someone who could be out of bed, which I usually couldn't. I was usually in a body cast. Someone who could be out of bed would draw the curtains around each bed, and then you would put on the best costume you could think of. Well, I was lying down on my back in a cast, so I couldn't think of too many things to do except put the pajama top on my head or something like that. But then when everybody would call ready, they would come open the curtains. And I remember one little girl who, who, when the curtains were pulled open, was sitting perched up on the back rim of her bed. And she had taken one paper sack and cut it in three pieces. One piece of the paper, and she decorated each piece with lipstick. One piece was around her little middle. One piece was around her non-existent bosoms. And she had a little cap that was the top of the paper bag that had lips, lipstick design. And she was sitting up there like this. And she won. She won the contest. We, I was thrilled with that. I, I, something about it completely delighted me, even in memory, because you know kids will play. They will do their thing. Obviously, there were also some really hard times. I was a six-year-old in a hospital 800 miles from home, and stuff happened sometimes that would not have happened if my parents had been there to advocate for me. For example, I was taken out of that ward because apparently somebody, older child parents wanted it for her. And after being in that ward and making friends for several months, um, they packed me up one day and moved me down to what they called the baby ward. And I never saw those kids again. I never saw the nurses again. I cried and cried and cried. Um, so it was, you know, it was a, it was a mixture of good and bad. I was Mennonite, and I never went to get to go to the movies, and they had movies down there, so that was a, a benefit. I got to go watch chimpanzees acting up on the big screen. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.